As I look back on what's been an unbelievable year, I'm grateful to all my guests for their incredible hospitality, the time they've given me, and the wisdom they've shared. They've helped me to understand the stifling pressures faced by a short seller battling an unscrupulous company with something to hide, the difficulty in being a hedge fund manager in today's markets and the demons that drive them, and the importance of holding your convictions in the face of great opposition. I've learned about how the government allocates its budget and why that's always going to be a flawed process. And I've discovered the importance of identifying and then nurturing talented individuals by standing quietly behind them and letting them work their magic. I've learned lessons from great value investors and listened as they picked apart the Australian housing market. I've come to understand the importance of understanding and then questioning the narrative. And I've had my worst fears about central bankers confirmed. I've discovered that to be a successful mining executive, you need skilled colleagues and a whole lot of luck. I've come to understand the shifting sands atop which the client-manager relationship exists and discovered that at the end of the day, hard work, intuition and sheer gut instinct are three keys to success and longevity in the investment industry. But perhaps above all on my travels, I've learned the importance of a series of principles which seem to have been lost in an avalanche of securitization, but which sit at the foundation of successful managers and investors. The importance of capital and the idea of protecting it through the cherishing of forgotten values like stability, independence and permanence seem so obvious, but the chord these ideas struck, not just with me, but with those of you who joined me on this wonderful journey, suggest a reminder was perhaps long overdue.